Well, it's me, I'm back, the Historical Gamer. It's been uh, quite a while since my last video, uh, over three weeks actually. I've uh, been busy with several different things, but I'm back and uh, ready to do another video here. What you're looking at is the game um, Ironclads. Uh, this is actually from Ironclads High Seas, which is a sort of a alternative history hypothetical Union versus Confederate, assuming that the Confederacy gets recognition by England in early 1862. Um, but yeah, uh, this is High Seas. I'm actually going to be doing a few of these videos based on the entire anthology. There's, uh, I think, four different games. Um, but this is the first one. Um, what we're looking at right now is actually a rematch between the Monitor and the uh, CSA Virginia. Um, not exactly. It's a custom battle, and it's a casemate ironclad versus a single turreted Monitor. Um, they didn't have the Merrimack specifically as a named ship for the custom battles, nor the Virginia, but both of these ships fit the right classes and whatnot. Um, they may look slightly different than the historical ones, but they're very similar. Um, but yeah, um, so this game is looking at the Age of the Ironclad, which I don't think any other game has ever done before, and that's... It's definitely a unique thing here. Um, as you look, as you watch me look through the different um, tabs, there's there's three tabs on the left which give you basic information such as damage, um, uh, armament, uh, even gives you rounds remaining, which is nice because uh, one of the things that people don't really take into consideration is one of the factors that caused the initial battle between the Monitor and Merrimack to end is both sides more or less expended their ammunition. Um, or we're very close to it. And um, this battle in particular really struck me of the futility of iron warfare, um, at least in the early early period of iron warfare where you had ships literally that would just sit side by side, run circles around each other or whatnot, and they would fire continuously and, and do very little damage. Um, the video that I'm showing you is actually a compilation of a, a video that was much longer. Um, Initially, it was over 25 minutes of fighting in-game without accelerating it. Um, I was playing under normal difficulty, so it wasn't all the way up to realism, but it was it was much closer. Um, so it's not the arcade style, which does play a much slower game or a much faster game. Um, you literally can run circles around each other, r drive in parallel to each other, or just pound each other for minutes and minutes. Um, I'm not sure how appealing that is to a lot of gamers, but it, it's definitely a, a faithful sim. I would say. Um, the game's really, the core of the game, in my opinion, is really based around the campaigns, which each one of the games, uh, High Seas, which is the first one between the Confederacy and the United States, uh, the Anglo-Russian War between uh, Britain and uh, Russia, I mean, it's all based around the campaign, really, and, and I'm going to be looking at that in more depth, but it, it definitely is a very similar feel a very similar feel to Age of Sail, if you've ever played that game. Um, where you start pretty much with one ship, and then as you succeed and get three different missions, you buy and build more, or sell existing ones and repair damage and things like that. It, it looks very promising, actually. Um, but yeah, anyway, enough about that. Um, yeah, I mean, this, this is really an era of warfare that I don't think anyone's ever really touched upon, and... This, this video is more of an introductory. Um, on the right there, you'll see some of the basic controls. You've got a, a steering mechanism, which isn't all that uh, useful, I would say. You Basically, you select between... If you look, it's above uh, the helm on the right side. There's three boxes. I mentioned the one on the left that gave the ammunition, damage, things like that. The one on the... If you go to the right... Um, you'll see that kind of bunch of notches above the steering wheel. You just kind of click where you want to go, and and that's uh, that's how steering's handled. Um, as far, and, and it's kind of cumbersome, but at least in this battle I didn't notice it so much. Um, then you can control speed, and and that's, you know, gives you a maximum 75, 25, 50 percent forward or reverse. Um, and then you've got the ability to accelerate times to time too, which would definitely be very useful for any gamer 
um, playing these games. Like I said, you really do hammer each other for a long, long, long time. Um, so it's definitely useful. Um, basically a fire or a don't fire uh, button there, um, kind of in the middle of the screen. Um, and, and the game's really, the, as far as I can tell, really designed to be, you know, played out with squadron level uh, commands. There's actually three different squadrons or flotillas or commands you can you can use. Um, right now, obviously, it's a single ship action, so there'd be more to do if it wasn't. Uh, here, I actually uh, went in to attempt to uh, ram the Virginia. Um, the monitor was is a much smaller. A ship, um, but uh, yeah, went in and rammed it. Not the most realistic of ramming. I was hoping for some damage or something. Um, really, there was no damage at all uh, to me uh, or to the the Virginia. Um, yeah, it just kind of bounced off them. So that was something which was a little disappointing. There is an ironclad ram. I haven't gotten the chance chance yet to test and see if that has any better um, ramming capabilities or not. Uh, one of the things you'll notice, though, uh, and in a big advantage that the monitor historically had over uh, over the Virginia, in, in addition to its maneuverability, is it's so low to the water that if you look at a lot of those shells that hit it, actually kind of pounce off the top and, and go you know, off into the distance while the Virginia much higher profile is getting hit and the armor may or may not be being penetrated. Um, but eventually during the Civil War you'd notice ironclads were fine at the start of a fight, but like in the Battle of uh, Mobile, the Confederate ironclad fought for several hours um, against a much larger Union force, but eventually just the continued battering um, will punch the iron plates out of place, will dent the iron plates, and will eventually slowly damage the ship and cause it to, to need to surrender. It's a much slower process than if the vessels were wooden, but it still does occur. Um, and I think that's one thing the game kind of simulates, although it does have dynamic damage, so if you actually look after time, the Confederate ship um, begins to look more and more damaged as it suffers more damage. After about 25 minutes, I did get it to about 50% damage. I had expended about 25% of my ammo, so I probably would have been able to sink it um, if I had kept at it, but um, I uh, honestly just kind of lost the will to fight. It, it was a lot like the historical battle. Um, but yeah, like I said, this is going to be the first of uh, several video videos which I'm looking to do on this game. It's an excellent game, from what I can, you know, what I've d what I've played so far. Um, pretty basic and simple interface. I, I would like maybe a little bit more, um, but still, definitely a, a niche game. Definitely something different sets itself apart, and um, you know, there's a lot of Civil War games out there. Not as much as there used to be. But there's a fair amount of Civil War strategy games out there. There's a couple of tactical level games on, like, the individual battle level of games. I don't think I've ever seen a naval war game out. And while it really doesn't follow the historical line of the, the Navy, which I think actually would make for a really good game, it does at least touch upon the era of that combat, which I don't, I don't know if anybody else has done, at least in a, in a computer game. I've seen it on a few board games. So, uh, yeah, um, sit here and watch the two ships batter each other apart for a couple of more a uh, couple more seconds here um, but yeah essentially this was uh, pounding pounding each ship continuously uh, or I guess at 25 minutes to no avail so a lot like a real battle just bombarding each other not getting anything but anyway, like I said, this is going to be the first in several videos of uh, this little montage of explosions. I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave you, and uh, if you like this, hit the like button, subscribe, follow, and uh, until next time, you have a nice night.